When you get a perfect Hollywood couple like Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively, it's impossible to imagine that they were ever with anyone else. Well, in this case, it's true. Ryan was, in fact, married to Scarlett Johansson when he met his future wife, Blake. Ryan and Scarlett weren't very public about their relationship and marriage. In fact, the pair were hardly spotted and photographed together. This probably sounds a little strange considering what Ryan's marriage to Blake Lively has been like. Ryan married a beautiful Blake, yeah. sexiest man in the world, all this things. Oh, and yeah, she is the sexiest man, man in the world. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the pics and tweets come with some hilarious captions that fans can't help but laugh at. However, with Scarlett, things were very different. They weren't the typical Hollywood couple that went out publicly together and gushed about one another. The world didn't even know that they were a thing until they confirmed that they had gotten married in 2008. Now, we're not saying that there's anything wrong with keeping things private. But it's another story when a couple doesn't even want to show any PDA in public. Uh, you and Ryan, uh, the adorable Ryan Reynolds, been married? Uh, we have been married, uh, how long have we been married? A year and a half. A year and a half. And you're a cute couple. <laughs> he is also in here, right? Thank you. Uh, I think he, he, may, he may also be a beautiful person. He's a beautiful person. You're a I beautiful so. person. It's so good that you're both beautiful together. Unfortunately, to fans' dismay, their marriage didn't last. When Scarlett and Ryan parted ways in 2010, it was the biggest news of its time. Despite the fact their whole relationship had been kept pretty under wraps. Naturally, they both kept their lips tightly sealed when it came to talking about their split. Many sources have claimed several reasons to be the cause of their divorce. But the one thing fans think was the true reason is that Scarlett Johansson was at the peak of her career, while Reynolds was just making it. No use talking about that now because they're both happy in life and have successful careers. On the other hand, what you might find incredibly interesting is that Reynolds has allegedly asked Marvel Studios to keep him out of any of Scarlet's movies. Doesn't that make you raise an eyebrow? Or two? Yeah, us too. Wanna know why? Well, it seems that Ryan simply wants to avoid any awkwardness with his ex-wife. While these are simply allegations, there might be some truth to them. The actor is said to have quite a few future Marvel projects coming his way, and his one condition to making the films is that he wouldn't have to share a set with Scarlet. This might be a tough one to avoid since Scarlet has her own set of Marvel movies and it would seem that they would be bound to cross paths eventually. According to every report we got, their marriage didn't end well. Because, well, Reynolds wanted a family at that time, and Scarlet had her own career to take care of. In the end, they did get what they wanted. Ryan Reynolds is now one of the highest paid actors and has a beautiful family with beautiful kids and a wife he loves and adores. Scarlett Johansson is one of the most famous actors in the world, and in the end, she also got her happily ever after with the man she loves, Colin Jost, and their new bundle of joy. Years after her divorce to Ryan, when Scarlett's Oscar-nominated Marriage Story, also starring Adam Driver, was released, she decided to open up on what went wrong in their own marriage. I mean, the first time I got married, I was 23 years old. I didn't really have an understanding of marriage. Maybe I kind of romanticized it, I think, in a way. After announcing their divorce in December 2010, through a joint statement affirming their continued love and kindness for each other, Johansson found love again with French journalist Romain Dariac, who she married in 2014. Although they divorced just three years later. So, with two failed marriages, there's no doubt that the actress has learned a lot of lessons during that time. Around the time of her divorce from Dariak, with whom she shares a six-year-old daughter, Johansson met with director Noah Baumbach, who was writing the script for a new film, Marriage Story, about a couple going through a divorce. I had some kind of shared experience with the character, or with any person going through a divorce, really, Johansson said. Um, I will say that, you know, at the time when I met with Noah, I was actually going through a, a divorce and I didn't know um, what we were meeting about at all. I understood the bittersweetness of it somehow, in a way. All those kind of in-between feelings that the character has, I understood them because I had gone through them myself. Johansson plays Nicole, who is in the midst of a divorce from her husband Charlie, played by Adam Driver. The couple shares a child, too, which the actress explains she could relate to more as she co-parents her daughter with Dariak. The 36-year-old actress reflected on what she's learned about marriage now, after going through her experiences of divorce and finding love again. It's a different part of my life now, she confessed, in comparison to the first marriage with Reynolds. 
I feel like I'm in a place in my life where I'm able to make more active choices. I'm more present, I think, than I've been before. While they've been avoiding one another on set in the future, they've both moved on in their respective lives and seem to be truly happy. And I just want to say that this place means so much to me. I have so many friends here, and I met the love of my life here. Very <laughs> Colin, Jost, and Scarlett quietly got married in October 2020. Johansson spoke about the wedding to people in April. I think just keeping it intimate and small made it feel intentional, she said. We wanted it to feel like it had an intentional intimacy as opposed to being something that felt like we were restricted by all these things. Not only did they keep their wedding under wraps, but her pregnancy too. We guessed that since the world was under lockdown for most of her pregnancy, it helped to keep things a secret. The couple didn't announce that she was expecting until just about when she gave birth. But now that their son, Baby Cosmo, has arrived, we did a little digging to find out about how they're coping with parenthood. They are very private but elated over the baby, an entertainment source shared. They are both so happy and madly in love with the baby. They wanted this child who will fit right into their lives, since they already have her daughter. They are an awesome couple, both talented, smart, and clever. They will be the best parents. And it seems that Jost is also the ultimate father. Colin is considerate and helpful in everyday life, so adding one more to the mix should be fine. The source added, the baby is the best thing ever for both of them. Since Scarlett doesn't have social media, it was Colin who announced their son's birth. He wrote, okay, okay, we had a baby. His name is Cosmo. We love him very much. Privacy would be greatly appreciated. He wrote in the caption of his Instagram. Ryan and Blake are also living their own happily ever after. We're so happy that both Scarlett and Ryan were able to move on and find the happiness that they deserve. While the journey wasn't easy, it's clear that sometimes the person that you marry isn't always the one, and it's okay for things not to work out. Your true love might be right around the corner.